Hi everyone, so today we are going to see how to fabricate a denture base easily. So now we are going, especially you know that mandibular denture bases are very difficult to fabricate because it is having the buccal and the lingual slopes. So what I am doing here after the relief placement on the residual crest, uh, yeah crest of the residual ridge, then I am going to apply completely the cold mold seal. You can see as such, I completely apply. I usually apply completely onto the cast because it is easier retrieval of the denture base. Then, as you can see, initially or the at the first, I will be pouring the monomer. Why? Because we wet the surface so that when there is when the surface is wetted, the polymer can stay in place. Or else, what happens is that while we pour first pour the polymer and then the monomer, by as the monomer flows, the polymer will also go with it so to avoid that first initially i might apply i, I always apply the monomer and followed by the polymer application so what happens is that there is underneath there is monomer to wet the polymer so it stays in place and also you can get a good bulk at the initial pouring itself now what I do next is like you can see as in the video how it goes on after wetting with uh, monomer and adding the polymer after two layers usually I give a slight finger pressure which we can give a very slight finger pressure that you can see now because that keeps that you know that smoothness of the surface now after putting the polymer you just slightly give a finger touch so it smoothly carves that area and all will stick on the it's not sticking but it will stay in position as such and then you can again do the same thing like lies little little amount it might take maybe a 10 to 15 minutes to complete this danger as of uh, as a complete on a single stretch but believe me the time that required for trimming will be it will be absolutely zero yes you won't need any trying time to trim the thickness because as you do like this it will be all already in 2 to 3 mm of thickness when i was in undergraduate as well as uh, when my uh, my friends as well as now when i'm doing my pg my co pgs i have seen many of them they are built in a bulk you know once they simply add the polymer and the monomer and the bulk goes so much that they have to spend the entire time trimming to reduce the bulk thickness you know even for maxilla all the uh, palatal region especially during the region of the rugae or uh, that region when it comes to that region it's very difficult to trim or to reduce the thickness in that region if it is too bulky so what happens your denture base itself doesn't look much good and does not have a good finish but when you are doing this way like increment increment when you do and uh, as you finish two layers you give again you pour some monomer and give a slight finger touch it really gives an even texture to your denture base there won't be any hums and dumps on your denture base and now you can see that in the retromolar pad area also you can add a little amount of monomer initially and followed by polymer addition and again a drop of monomer it makes the material to stay at the retromolar pad area and after you add 2-3 layer you can give a slight finger touch so that it will be molded according to the shape in that region and no there won't be the monomer polymer which you had added won't even flow away from that region because it has already been in place in that region so as we have done the other side we'll complete this on the other lingual side also you can see from the video Now almost we have done with the buccal side as well as the lingual side and also the retromolar pad area. Now we are concentrating onto the crest of the residual ridge. Now that also first what it, the easier way is to add a little bit of 
monomer throughout the crest and then slowly drop by drop you can add the monomer polymer sorry you can add the po polymer and when two three layers have been added slowly you can give a finger smooth finish touch so that it will stay in place as well as it will give a good or an even looking appearance Now we can see it is almost been completed. Now after completing you can check for any areas where you can see your cast that the green marking you can see the green color through the then you can add little more and do the same thing process and once you are completely done when you finish completely pour the mo uh, poly monomer throughout and give a complete even touch of again a finger touch you can give throughout so that entire thing looks in one finish and one glow and once you have completely done when you feel that there is no more thickness to be added you know like if you want to add more you can add more but if you add once it is too much bulk it's very difficult to reduce the bulk but even if it is thinner it is okay why because we can add in the future but if it is bulkier you need to reduce a lot so once it is completely once it is completely done you pour some more polymer you can see only one syringe or one and a half syringe of monomer is only required so after that after completely covering or uh, pouring with monomer you have to place a rubber bowl on top of it so that there will all the monomers and polymers will be completely reacting and nothing would be evaporated nicely it will be like you know there we can avoid any porosities now similarly i had already started with the maxilla so the same way you can continue for the maxilla also once every region has been completely covered in monomer and polymer you will and again ensure that every age area your relief everything has been correctly covered and again place wash it with monomer and place it under a rubber bowl now you can see that there are no any porosities or white markings because that looks very uh, untidy when you see the white markings on it now you can see how perfectly we got and trimming portion will be as the next part and in that part i shall show you the thickness of these plates i have already done this so i can say that it's almost ar only around 2.3 and one, uh, it is in the range of 2 to 3 mm so that's it with this video so the next video will be coming up with the trimming of the dentures and also pumicing till pumicing. So you can see how well or how thin the denture base we got and how smooth it is. This is the intaglio surface. Now you can see which are the portions we need to trim off. You can see the surface. It is really very smooth.